So let's start with billionaire retailer Richard Branson. He says fossil fuels are dangerous, and he calls Trump's decision, quote, America first, Earth last. Now, on the other hand, Branson owns a Dassault Falcon 50 EX private jet. It burns more fuel on a single flight to Maui than you're going to go through in a lifetime of trips to the shore. Elon Musk, meanwhile, is mad about global warming, too, yet he flies around in a Gulfstream G650 ER. Bill Gates says he's deeply concerned, yet he still commutes in a $62 million Bombardier BD700 Global Express. Can you imagine the gas mileage that gets? <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio says Trump's move threatens, quote, the livability of our planet, and yet DiCaprio flew a private jet 4,000 miles from Cannes, France to New York to accept a climate award and then flew back privately. Hillary Clinton tweeted that Trump's pullout was, quote, a historic mistake that leaves American workers and families behind. And yet, speaking of workers and their families, there probably weren't a lot of those on board last year when Hillary used a private jet to fly 20 miles from Martha's Vineyard to Nantucket for a fundraiser, a critical fundraiser. Also, it's a little rich for Clinton to tout the needs of the planet on the very same day today that a new email was revealed showing she once requested a separate private plane from Michelle Obama to fly to Betty Ford's funeral. And of course, there's the former president, Barack Obama, who for whatever reason never seems to get the credit the awesome hypocrisy he displays so deserves. Obama told us just yesterday that Trump's refusal to take CO2 emissions seriously could, quote, crush future generations. And yet, here's some of what he has done just since January. On the day he left office, Obama took a Marine helicopter to a government-owned 747. He flew that across the country to Palm Springs, California. After a few <laughs> days of relaxing at an 11,000-square-foot mansion, can you imagine the air conditioning required for that? The electricity bill, unbelievable. He flew then on Richard Branson's private plane to the Caribbean. Then he got on a private boat that took him to Branson's private island. He later left on a private jet and took another <laughs> private jet to Tahiti in the French Polynesia. After that trip wrapped up, he took another private jet to Milan, where a 14-car caravan escorted him to a conference where he spoke about, brace yourselves, global warming. <laughs> Leaving open the question, how much does he, how much do any of these people really care about carbon emissions?